Hello dear Marvinats, we have another version for you, it's 1.59.1 .1, and this is the longest we have ever gone without a new release. It's been a really busy month for us. We moved and we now have a bit more space to work on Marvin, so it's full steam ahead. And we also did some work on the back end, which is not always super exciting, but it's also very important. So one of the features we added was one of the most requested and that's a undo redo shortcut. So if you press command Z after you maybe completed or deleted or changed something about an item, you can undo that action. And if you feel like there's a place that we missed, let us know. The second thing we added was a way to clean up your database. And this is only relevant if you feel like your Marvin is slow. This can happen if you've been using Marvin for quite some time and probably have a lot of completed tasks. And this is also noticeable if you are using the mobile app and you feel like the initial sync. So when you start up the app, it takes quite a bit of time to sync up. So then I would recommend you go to the help center article and read up about the database cleanup and do that so that it speeds things up and then let us know if it's helped you. One change we've made is about this completed section. When you complete something in the day view, it shows you what you've completed today. And this kind of follows you around even when you go to other categories and label lists and smart lists. And we've now adjusted it so that if I, let's say, go to my work category, it shows me what I've completed recently in this category. And of course it doesn't show you everything because this is something we also do for performance reasons. There's an archive mode, which you might have already seen when you go to the stats. And so it only shows you things up to about six weeks or if something is part of a project that is still open. But it's still nice so you can kind of see uh, when you did items in these lists here. We've also added for the target features a way to measure things by smart list. So if you say I have a smart list and I want to work, you know, four hours per week on this, you can now make a target for that. So it's a lot of smaller improvements, you know, for example, in the reschedule dialog, you, you can search for things now. So let's say you have a lot of items you've left behind. Maybe you want to search. That was a small request. And the same for custom alert. Another thing we improved was how it handles synced events if you have one way sync on. So before you could technically delete an item that was synced from a calendar, but it would then just get resynced, of course, because one way sync doesn't affect the actual calendar. And this was a bit confusing. So now if you have a calendar synced one way and you delete an event in Marvin, make, because maybe you just don't want to see it there, it's still not going to delete it in the calendar if it's just one way synced, but at least they will hide it in Marvin and not just pop back when there's a new, you know, release refresh. So that's just a small improvement for your convenience. We've improved habits a little bit, but there's still more we want to do with that. But for now you can reorder them. And this is also going to be reflected in the way that they show up in the day. You can also reset them if you want to start over. And I think the sort is new as well. And you can see when you've last successfully recorded a habit in this column that we added. Um, yeah, I think that's the stuff we added for the habits. Then one thing you can now do <coughs> is not just turn a task into a project, but also turn a project back into a task. We were hesitant to add that because technically you could lose data if you have tasks inside a project with a lot of data, like their own due dates and notes, and then you would convert that project into a task. Subtasks cannot have that kind of data, so it get lost. So now we just added a warning when that would happen. But so if you have a project with very simple tasks and want to convert it into a task, you can do that without a confirmation. Then you can sort by label group, which is a small thing we added, and some advanced filters like is sequentialness parallel, which is about the project and the feature we added, I think last time, where you can have sequential or parallel projects. So you can just add that now in your queries in the smart list advanced filter. We've also made it a bit easier if you want to work with schedule dates in your advanced filters. So you don't have to say schedule date today equals equals, you can just say plus 
and all these other ones because plus of course is the shortcut for scheduling then it takes over outlook event colors if you have that and we added a bit of new settings for the review date strategy so if you like to work with review dates you can have automatic review tags pop up when a task or project reaches a certain age um, or if you um, add a label and then it says whenever I add that label I want to review this automatically maybe a number of days this could be helpful for maybe a waiting on label in GTD that you want to check up on every you know maybe two days and there's also an easier way to remove the review labels by pressing shift and then clicking it I think we had that very early on but somehow it got changed um you can now also confirm deletions for certain things if you feel like you accidentally delete um, some of these items sometimes that's in the settings here you can go have a look there there's a trash size maximum and another thing that comes up a lot is if you check off an item on a certain day um, you want to maybe change the date that it was actually completed and you can always do this here in the completed tasks by just scheduling it after you already completed it and it will count it for that other day so here um, you can also schedule an item in the past and then have it check off there and now a new way is if you press option or alt and then click it will ask you when you actually completed this task then we had to rework the saved items there's a lot of bugs happening there especially because we're always adding a lot of new features that have to do with the tasks and the projects so now as a rule you want to edit them as normal tasks and items and then just resave them so if you want to edit one that you've already saved you want to load it and then change it and then save it again and if it has the same name as something that you already have stored in your saved items it will override it so make sure that you only use a name once for a saved item and we just added a bunch of smaller things you know like there's a shortcut now to delete it so you can just press delete on your keyboard instead of up here to delete it just a bit easier for the bulk delete and there is also a bulk saving which we've added and the day planning strategy now is a bit smarter and it checks if it's a weekday or a weekend to give you your suggestions for how much you should schedule if you put habits in the calendar agenda you can now drag them around um, and the goals are also filtered so if I go to my health category I would only see my health goals and so forth which is a small change you can remove category project color um, yeah there's just a few small details with the habits and we've improved the matrix it now opens up below and just scrolls down just a bit more streamlined so this makes it a lot easier for us <laughs> um, and yeah a lot of improvements in the performance and some visual things and bugs um, this is definitely something we're focusing on a lot right now just kind of cleaning up some of the bugs and of course there are more things bigger things that we're excited about and a lot of requests we still have i would say right now the biggest requests have to do with widgets on the mobile app and still improving the mobile apps a bit and something we really want to do as well is improving reminders because events can't have reminders right now and it just needs to be more flexible um and i'm also working on courses which is taking quite a while but i think it is very very worthwhile because a lot of people struggle with using Marvin or are still with procrastination and I think that would be really cool to have some more help there so yep yeah, have a good rest of the week